Generally, we talk offense on this show, and they get all the headlines and the highlights, but today we're going to change pace because we're going defense, and here's a guy that's garnered as, as many headlines around Athens as anybody, and that's David Pollock, the defensive end for the Georgia Bulldogs. And first of all, what's it been like uh, ever since the South Carolina game when you had that uh, freak play, the interception slash fumble for a touchdown? You've garnered a lot of attention. Has it changed your life a little bit? Well, uh, yes, sir, definitely. Um, definitely with the media and uh – going to class people actually know you instead of being invisible but uh it's i mean it's the same old same old still got to work hard still got to do things but it's not about me it's about the team and we're six and oh so we got no complaints well certainly the team defensively has been uh, uh super this entire season so far the offense has been a little sluggish waiting for that breakout game but consistency on defense has been the key what has brought this defense around uh, not that it was poor last year but it seems like it's kind of an area that you guys can hang your hat on every saturday um, yeah, I think uh, the main thing is we play hard and uh, we're fast. We're very fast, and uh, you know that's a good combination. When you when you're making up for errors with speed and when you're making up for errors with hustle, then good things will happen. We got guys making tackles 25 yards down the field, and that's what defense is all about: flying around and hitting somebody. It seems in this day and age in college football, you can be 6-0, and but people are always going to be critics, and people are saying they're waiting for that, that Georgia blowout. Every game's been close. You're hanging on by a thread. What is it about this club? Why are you 6-0, and and can it continue? Well, you know, um, I, I hope we're the ugliest national champions or SEC <laughs> champions ever. You know, I get that a lot. Yeah, you know, y'all are, only, but y'all are barely winning. Hey, we're winning. And, you know, it's, it takes heart and takes a lot of finish in the fourth quarter, and that's what we're doing. We're finishing in the fourth quarter, and we just got to keep it up, keep playing hard, and, uh, you know, not letting fatigue get the best of it because everybody's going to be tired in the game, and you do, it's who sucks it up the most. And we're sucking it up, and we got to love for each other, and we're, we're not going to let each other down. Well, in terms of you, you came here, thought about playing a little offense, a little fullback. You've been moved around a little bit. Here you are as a sophomore, defensive end, seven sacks, over 40 tackles. Uh, how has it been getting to this point? Has it been kind of confusing for you, and did you just settle into this spot? Well, uh, I think I got asked the same question last year about playing defensive tackle. So, uh, you know, I, I was, came in as a fullback, moved to tackle, and then I moved to end in the spring, and uh, I was very cautious about it. You know, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like it very much at all at first, but Coach Fab's a great defensive end coach, and, you know, God is good, and I kept working every day, kept getting better, and, um, Good things are happening for me in my position, but better things are happening for Georgia. I know you've been catching a lot of flack because of things like this. Doing, you know, all your buddies hammering you. Is it ever going to stop? Um, you know, I I don't know. If, if if we keep winning, hopefully, you know, hopefully everything will everything's fine. I, you know, I don't care doing interviews as long as we're winning. But let's go Georgia. Exactly. Well, thank you, David, for joining us here on the.